What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex Costa and today I have a very much requested video. You guys have been asking for this one. It is a how to get a defined V-line in your abs here. You know what I mean. You take your shirt off, you got that V going. I mean, it looks awesome. You look ripped and today we are going over a few exercises that will get that to pop. Most of the exercises that we're going through today are body weight exercises so you can do them anywhere. I'm here in my home gym. It's pretty small, but it works, man. It gets the job done. I'm so happy and blessed to have this here. And we're also gonna be using the High Fit Gear One system, which is amazing, and you guys can take it anywhere to work out. I'll show you that in just a second. The first one is Flutter Kicks. What you're doing here is laying down flat on the ground, keeping your shoulders off the ground, and both legs are straight, moving one leg up while moving the other one down. We are doing this for 30 seconds. Make sure that you're stabilizing your core at all times. And do not touch the ground with your feet, all right? That is cheating. You can keep your arms straight back or you can put your hands behind your neck. Just be careful not to put your chin too close to your chest because that means that you're straining your neck. We don't want that. So try to look up to the ceiling instead of looking down. This is such a great exercise that you can do anywhere and I'm telling you, it works. Next up, one of my favorite lower abs workouts, still laying flat on the ground. We're gonna do single leg raises. Straighten one leg out and keep it off the ground while you lift the other leg 90 degrees up and then down. Then do the same with the other leg. By doing single leg raises instead of both of them together, you're tightening your core to maintain that balance. It's a lot harder to do it properly which means you're working out harder. Please, please, please focus on technique here as you're moving your legs up and down and don't let any of them touch the ground. Next on the list, guys, I'm excited for this. We're gonna use the High Fit Gear 1 system to make this even harder. All right, and man, I'm not gonna lie, this is about to get tough. High Fit Gear 1 is nothing like normal workout bands. It's completely different. This is way better. It doesn't feel like it's gonna snap at any point like most workout bands do. But the best part is actually that it combines high performance resistant bands with smart sensors. So it tracks your workout stats, which means you can finally see what you need to do to achieve your fitness goals. Whether you wanna lose weight or gain muscle, it's going to tell you exactly what to do. All you have to do is open their app and check it out. The app tells you exactly how to work out. I think this is one of my favorite parts about this system is that you can learn how to do each of these exercises by following along with the videos. The videos on this app are incredible. You can use it for your abs. You can hang it up top and work out your triceps. You can work out your back, biceps, pretty much anything you can think of, even unorthodox boxing workouts like this here and shoulder workouts like this one. That's the beauty of the High Fit Gear 1 system. You know, click the link below in the description to get yours. And since you're part of the YouTube family, I'm giving you a $30 discount. It basically gives you a smart home gym experience pretty much anywhere. You can work out in your own bedroom and get a really good workout, especially now that, you know, annoyingly all of these gyms are closed, at least here in the US where I live here, everything is closed. So this is a game changer. Today, we'll be using the High Fit Gear 1 around my ankles here. As you can see, it's nicely padded so it's very comfortable and the door adapter here as well I don't have a hook in my gym that I could use for this so the door adapter is absolutely perfect we're gonna do reverse sit-ups and the bands make it so much harder it's insane what a little bit of added pressure can do here the reverse sit-ups is just one of the best exercises that you can do for your lower abs all you have to do is lay on the ground, legs straight, and then bend them in, bringing your knees to your chest. And man, you're gonna feel the burn right on your lower abs. Then we're going straight into a boat hold. And yeah, it looks easy, but it is not. <laughs> you're gonna sit nice and tall, then lean back slightly and lift your feet off the ground. Engage your abs as much as possible with this workout, okay? There is no movement here, just a hold, but I'm telling you, it's no joke. This should be burning within 10 to 15 seconds. And as always, we're doing 30 seconds total. So just focus on keeping those abs engaged at all times. Next, grab a water bottle, or in my case here, I'm using the speaker that I keep in my gym. We're doing seated popovers. So you sit on the ground, you bring your hands back to give you some support, and you keep your legs together as you pop them over the object from side to side. To make it harder, 
You can straighten out your legs every time you go over the object on each side like I'm doing here. This will engage your core even more and give you that burn that feels horrible but amazing at the same time. You know exactly what I'm talking about. By the way, try not to use your hands and arms too much. Just place them there behind you for support. That's it. We are on to the second to last exercise here. We're doing 30 seconds of supported in and out. Now, same starting position as the seated popovers, but instead of going from side to side, we're just bringing our knees in and then straightening our legs out without touching the ground, then bringing them back in again. You can see a lot of guys doing this um, on a bench at the gym between sets, for example, just because it's a great exercise that you can do anywhere. And man, I'm telling you, it really works. Your abs should be burning by now. I definitely saved the best for last. This is one of my favorite exercises, mountain climbers. If you watch my videos, my workout videos, then, then you know. I love this exercise so much because it works out your core, but it's also a great cardio workout. And because it's the last exercise, you really have to push yourself here to get the best results. Get into a high plank position, keep your body straight. Don't bring your butt all the way up to the ceiling, all right? Keep your body straight and your shoulders should be right over your hands. Then bring your knees into your chest and you don't have to do it super fast. Just maintain control at all times. Technique is way more important than speed. And whew, 30 seconds of these, man, I'm telling you, it's gonna work out your core, your legs, your arms. It's an amazing exercise. Wow, guys, I am beat. Just so you know, this was my second workout of the day. Okay, so I am destroyed. Thank you so much, High Fit Gear, for sponsoring today's video. You guys have to check them out. It's such an innovative system that you can take anywhere to work out and work out your whole body. As you know, I work out from home, so it makes it so easy to work out here, or you can take it to the park, take it on a hike, whatever it is that you want to do. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button below, become part of our YouTube family, and of course, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I have been posting every single day on TikTok, so go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace. I'm gonna go drink some water and go to bed.